Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is really exciting and I'm actually really happy with how the video has turned out and the look has turned out as well. So today I'm doing a full glam makeup routine. If you like the look now, please continue watching to see how I got it. And please give the video a thumbs up if you like it and comment down below or send me a message on Instagram if there's any other videos you want me to you want me to create or you want to see from me. And yeah, let's hop straight into the video. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so because we're doing a full glam today, I'm going to actually start with my eyes. So the first thing, I have got a few new products. So if it doesn't turn out great, that's why. I don't I'm not actually used to some of the products I'm using. Others I'm absolutely obsessed with and this is just the products that work best for me at the moment. I don't have a massive makeup collection so the brands are a little bit samey samey here and there but I have purchased a few things this week to kind of change things up a bit. So the first thing I'm going to use is the P. Louise base for my eyeshadow. So many people rave about this and I need, I mentioned in my get ready with me for London that I need to find something that will stop my eyeshadow from creasing and I really hope that this is going to do the trick. So I got the shade, I think I got, I think I got the shade 2, base 2. Just the one that I found, I thought would fit best with my, um, my skin tone. So I'm going to start with that. I've already moisturised, cleaned my skin. Um, I used a serum, a moisturiser and an eye cream just so that my whole base is ready. And now we can get on to the makeup. So, blank canvas. It looks like I've had my eyebrows done. I've done my eyebrows, but like I said before, I've had them microbladed so I don't have to do much to them anyway. So I'm going to start with my P. Louise base for my eyeshadow. I don't actually know how much is needed. But I'm just going to grab a little amount on my ring finger and well okay that's very pigmented maybe I should put some over onto this side there we go okay so I think I'm gonna I've seen some people use it with their finger and some with a brush and do you know what I might use a brush I am um, I'm going to use, this is a Eco Tools flat paddle brush, so I'm going to use that just to blend that in. It's a good, it's a good shade match, I will say that. Oh my god, I've got hairs all over my face. Don't you love that I live on a main road, so all you can hear are police cars. So I'm just going to blend that in. It is the perfect shade. I'm not normally good at getting good shades, but this one seems to be good. I might put a little bit more on this side. Um, so basically, I'm actually doing my sister's wedding makeup, which is next year. I wanna try out a few products just so that I know what is good and what is not. I feel like this lighting's a bit rubbish. I've got shadow on this side. Let me move you. Okay, so I've primed, and I'm really happy with that, actually so far let's see if it is let's see if it keeps my eyeshadow in place for my eyeshadow i actually don't know what i'm gonna do i have got four palettes here and they are from the morphe cross jacqueline hill vault range so they come like this there's four separate palettes you can buy them separately or you can buy them as a vault as she called it so i bought all four i actually bought these when i was in america and they're really well priced for what you get in each palette there's 10 shadows and there's a really nice mirror as well i don't know i'm kind of feeling purple pinks and purples are the best shade for my eyes so i have like gray blue eyes and i find that pinks and purples are the best for it so i think i'm gonna go in with the bling boss palette which is the purples but i might switch between a few because there's a shade in the armed and gorgeous palette this one here which is perfect for highlighting the inner corner it's so nice yeah i'll switch between all the palettes but i will be telling you what shade before before i do that i'm going to pop on some elizabeth arden eight hour cream my lips are so dry at the minute i think it's the weather changing to cold which i love because i love cold weather but I don't love dry lips, so I'm just popping that on. 
This is my all time favorite lip balm. Always has been. It's just so great. So first I'm going to go in with a base shade. I need to find one first. In the Dark Magic palette, I'm gonna use the shade Poof, this one here. So it's the best base I find for my skin tone. I'm gonna to be using a deluxe crease brush by Real Techniques, just because it's a big fluffy brush. So it's quick to just brush it all over. I'm gonna take it all the way up to the eyebrow. And as you can see, it's just given me a blank canvas. I have quite veiny eyelids, but that P. Louise base with that shade on top is insane. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. So now I am going to go in with the Bling Boss palette, which is the main palette that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to take the shade Hush Hush, which is this one here. It's just a nice crease shade and I'm going to take it on a Real Techniques base shadow brush just because it's nice and fluffy and I'm going to focus this in my crease. These shadows blend so well and on that base they're coming, the colour is showing insane. I'm going to focus it on my outer corner as well and the reason I'm doing my eyes first is because I can be a little bit messy. So I can bring it out as far as I need and I'm just going to clean up the outer corner anyway. Now I don't really have a technique for this. I just, with the crease shade, because it's not too dark, you can kind of just brush it over. And normally I will brush it over the whole lid. So now I've got that base down, I'm going to keep this brush to hand because it's super handy to blend out any other harsh lines. I'm now gonna go in with a slightly darker shade. So I'm gonna go in with Mystic, which is this one here. It's a lot darker than what I've just used, but looking at all the palettes, it's the best one that's gonna work. So to pack this on, I'm going to use a slightly denser brush and I'm using the Urban Decay, there's no name to it. It's just the brush you get with most of their palettes. And I'm gonna use the bigger end and just pack it on the outer corner like I have done here. And then I'm going to grab another base shadow brush that doesn't have the base colour on that we used before and I'm going to blend it out. You want something that is a little bit denser than the first one you used just so that you can blend out those outer areas better because it is a darker colour. And I don't want it to go any further than the halfway into my eye because I find with my eye shape and with my hooded eyes, if I leave the middle bit, bare or like I put a glitter there and it's a bit lighter then it makes my eyes a, a lot bigger than they actually are okay so I've blended that out and I'm going to do the same to the other eye as well there's so much pigment to these eyeshadows so you don't need a lot Okay, so there is the first two shades. I might make it a little bit darker. So I'm going to go in with the shade Framed from the Ring the Alarm palette. And it's this one down here. It's more of a deep brownie purple. So like a burgundy pretty much. And I'm going to use the same brush. And I'm going to focus it further on the outer V. Like so. And then with the same brush I used before... I'm going to blend out the corners. Okay, and as you can see, it's a lot darker now, which is what I want. It's full glam at the end of the day. So we're going all out. Okay, so pack it on and then blend it out. As you can see it's a little bit harsh so what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna go back in with the base shadow brush and the shade hush hush that we used before as um, the crease shade and I'm going to blend out the edges with that shade just to make it a bit more softer and I'm also gonna blend out the middle part of the eye You're 
Okay, I'm really happy with that. So now what I'm going to do is add some glitter. So there's a few glitters in the Bling Boss palette. You've got Bling Bling up here, which is a bit chunkier. You've got Glitz and Glam down here, and then you've got Ballsy, which is this one here. I'm thinking one of these two because they're a lot lighter. And with these, I always go in with my finger. So I'm going to go in, I think I'm going to go in with Glitz and Glam, which is a bit of a finer glitter. And I'm going to take it on my ring finger, like so, and pack it on the inner of my eye. So just like so. And then I'll do the same to the other eye and then blend it. So I'm super happy with that. I'm going to take the blender brush we've been using and just blend out the middle bit and also the edges. And that is the eyeshadow at the moment. I'm going to stop there and then I'm going to go on to my base and then come back to finish off the eyes. So first of all I'm going to take a makeup wipe. I literally just use the Wilkinson's face wipes because they're like 50p and I'm just going to clean up the outer corners before I start my base. And what I do with these is I go at an angle just towards the end of my brow bone. So as you can see there, it sharpens it up. What you also want to make sure is that you leave, you don't lead off straight from your lower lash line because you want to leave some space for you to be able to blend shadow underneath the eye. Otherwise it could look a little bit odd. So you want it all to join together. So I'm going to start off with a primer. My favourite primer at the moment is the Arbonne Makeup Primer. So I use one pump on my hand and then I just go all over my face with this. What I like about this primer is that it's a silicone texture so it's going to fill in all my pores. As you can see I've got a few scarring and, and a few blemishes at the moment. My skin does not like me at this moment in time. And it is all down to my diet, I know it is. So this week, I need to get back on a good diet because my skin will be perfect when I've got a good diet and I'm eating well, drinking lots of water. This primer is also super moisturising. So normally with silicone primers, I find them really tacky on the skin and they can dry me out sometimes. But this one is just so smooth and moisturising. I love it. That is on and it almost sinks in immediately which I absolutely love. So next I'm going in with my foundation. Again it's an album foundation. I find a lot of the time when you use the same brand for primer and, and foundation they work really well together which is what I love about these two products when I use them together. So this is the Perfecting Liquid Foundation and it's also got SPF 15 which is really important. So I'm going to take a pump on the back of my hand, maybe a pump and a half. Don't need a lot of this stuff. And I use the shade Fair because I am very pale at the moment. And what I like to do with my foundation is I splodge it on my face. It looks a bit light, but trust me when it's blended in, we're fine, we're good. And at the minute, my favorite way to blend it in is to use a big flat top brush. So I've got the Eco Tools one here, or people call them like a kabuki brush. Any big flat brush like this. And I just blend it in. And then I will follow with a beauty blender. So the reason for this is that I find a brush will spread out the product perfectly and it means you're not using too much. And then the Beauty Blender will just blend it into your skin and get rid of any of those lines that you may get from the brush. And it will also take off any of the excess product you may have on your face. Like I said, this does look a little bit pale, but once we bronze and contour, then it's fine. So I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and blend that in. 
Okay, that's all blended and now I'm going to go on to concealer. Again, I'm using the Arbon concealer. Now, this concealer is insane. I absolutely love it. It's the best concealer by far that I've tried at the moment. I do also love the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, but this is what I've got to hand at the moment. And again, it's the shade Fair, and you literally need the tiniest bit. So I'm going to put a tiny bit under each eye, like so. And then I'll leave that there for now, blend it out, and then see where I need any more. And again, I'm going to use the Beauty Blender to blend it out. There you go, as you can see, blends so easily, that didn't take any time at all. And it just brightens up your under eyes. I have the worst bags and dark circles. And this does the most perfect job. Sometimes I will just use this on its own as well without any foundation. And with what's left on my sponge, I'm just going to dab over the rest of my face. I think that's all I need. The foundation did a pretty good job of covering up the most redness of these scars and spots. Um, I don't mind them showing a little bit. It kind of shows that I... It almost gives an illusion that I don't have too much makeup on. So, the next part I'm a little bit nervous for, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to cream contour, and I haven't cream contoured in a long time. But I went onto the Morphe website because uh, I had a 20% off discount code and I was looking for a cream contour and the thing I love about the Morphe website is that they show swatches on four different skin toned arms. So I looked for the arm that was closest to me and I found the shade that I think would work best. So I got the... Dimension Effect Contour Stick in the shade Effect 14. I've swatched it and it looks like the perfect shade, so we're going to see if it works. I'm going to use a tiny bit. I'm going to go cheekbones, forehead and a bit under my chin. I'm literally just going to do that and I might blend that in now. To blend it in, I'm going to use another flat top brush. This is the Revolution Flat Top Brush. And I'm going to sort of do a mixture of dabbing and swiping. So far so good. That does look super natural, obviously I need to blend it in a bit more. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and see if I need any more. I really like that. I don't want to go too heavy. I'm going to do a slight bit on my chin and jawline just to get rid of this double chin that I've got going on. Okay, I'm super happy with that at the moment. I think I'm going to leave the contour there because I don't want to go too overboard. Um, and then I'm going to bronze as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set my under eyes and the product that I've absolutely been loving to do that is the Arbonne Second Nature Pressed Powder, again in the shade Fair. And it looks like this and it is literally just a pressed powder. It's just so good. It's incredible. It's beautiful. The way it looks on your skin and the finish it gives you. It comes with a little puff like this, so that's what I use. And I just dab it into the powder and then pop it under my eyes. And I will also run it anywhere that I crease. So my smile lines, um, I get a little bit of a sweaty upper lip and then I'll pop it on my chin as well just to set. And can you see that? Can you see the difference that is done to that eye? I haven't done it to this eye yet. It adds a little bit of coverage, but not too much where you look cakey and powdery. So I'm now going to bronze. This is my favorite part of makeup. So I'm gonna go in with the Real Techniques. I think it's the blush brush. I've had it for so long, it's kind of rubbed off. But it's perfect size for bronzer. And I'm going to be going in with the Starlight Glow Palette from Arbonne again, I know, but I just love Arbonne products. And this is all I've got in my collection at the moment. 
And I'm gonna go in with the shade Meteor, which is the bronzer shade in the palette. <laughs> just makes you look so sun-kissed. I'm gonna pop a little bit on my nose and then also down my jawline and chin and neck area just to blend it all together. I'm then gonna add a tiny bit of blush and I'm gonna use the blush from that same palette which is called a Moonstone and I'm using a Revolution angled face brush I think it's called but just a tiny bit on the apples and I'm just gonna drag it up slightly as well. Like so, I don't want too much. I'm not really a massive fan of blush. Okay, next step I'm going to highlight and the highlighter I'm using is one of my faves. It is a Morphe highlighter. I feel like I'm using a lot of Arbonne and Morphe, but it's just the brands I love really. So the highlight I'm using is the Morphe Highlighter in Lit. It's the High Impact Highlighter Illuminator and it's just the most gorgeous goldy champagne-y highlight. It's the same one I used in my Get Ready With Me when I went to London. It's just perfect and with a full face of makeup it's so gorgeous. The brush I use is the Real Techniques setting brush is just the perfect size and I'm going to grab a little bit and pop it on my cheekbones. It would look so amazing on a darker skin tone as well. Um, but luckily it kind of suits every skin tone. I'm pale as you you can get basically and it looks so gorgeous on the cheek. Like on camera it's picking it up so nicely. Okay, so now my base is done and I'm happy with it. I'm going to actually set that before I move on to anything else. Actually, I'm lying. I'm going to do my eyebrows. So like I said, they're microbladed. So all I do to it is put on a tinted brow gel. The one that I'm using at the moment is the Arbonne Shape It Up Tinted Brow Cream. I just like the brush on it. The brush is really small. And I'm just going to... Brush it, brush my eyebrow hairs up, just to make them a little bit fluffier. And as you can see, makes them a slightly bit darker and it just sets them in place for the day so they're not moving about. There we go, brows done. Now I can set my face. So I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, absolute all time favorite setting spray at the moment. I haven't really tried any other ones really. I'd really like to try the, I think it's the Iconic London spray and it's got a little bit of glitter in, but they were all sold out of that on the Morphe website. So all nighter setting spray it is. So I'm literally just gonna use two shadows for my under eye eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with Hush Hush, which is the crease shade. And then I'm going to go in with Mystic as well on the very outer corner. I'm going to use a slightly angled brush for my lower lash line for the first shade. So for Hush Hush, I'm going to go in with this, I think it's just literally a super drug own brand makeup brush. And because it's angled, I use the very tip of the angle to go under my eye. So I dab the angle of the brush into the shadow and I don't get it anywhere else on the brush and then I just go under my eye. Just like that, I don't want too much because I find that it can close my eyes a little bit and make them look smaller. And then with the other end of the Urban Decay brush, which is a super pointy brush, I'm gonna go in with the darker shade, which is Mystic. And I'm gonna focus it just on the outer corner of that lower lash line. Just like so, and then join it with the wing. So for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with the Armed and Gorgeous palette from the Vault Collection with Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. And I'm going to take the shade VIP, which is a super frosty white shade. And on a shading brush from Real Techniques, I'm going to get a bit on my brush and pop it on the inner corner. <laughs> And with the tiniest amount as well, I'm going to go under my brow bone. 
So now my eyeshadow's done, I'm gonna move on to lashes. And the lashes I've got today are actually new lashes I've never tried before, so I'm a little bit hesitant. I always go for the Ardell Demi Wispies or the regular Wispies, because they just look so nice on my eyes, but they were sold out everywhere I looked, and the pair that I normally reuse, I actually threw away because they were disgusting. So I've got the Morphe lashes in Melrose Avenue. They look very long, I'm not used to very long lashes, but until you try, you never know. So the first thing I'm gonna do is curl my lashes with my eyelash curlers. These are just, I think they're like Boots or Superdrug own. All eyelash curlers do the same thing, so eyelashes are nice and curled. And now, it's time to attempt to put these lashes on. I'm gonna do it off camera because it stresses me out, so I will be back in a second. Lashes are on, I actually don't hate them. They're very different to what I'm used to, they're very long, but they actually look quite nice. If anyone's got any lash recommendations, please let me know, because I'm always looking for new lashes rather than just the Ardell, like I wanna branch out and find some new ones. The last thing I'm gonna do is my lips. So my absolute, absolute favorite lip combo at the minute is the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Pillow Talk, of course. So I'm gonna go with the lip liner. And then follow it with the Pillow Talk lipstick. It's just the perfect color, I'm obsessed with it. I think I wanna go a bit lighter with my lips. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the Bare Minerals Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Wink. <laughs> Such a nice light nude, yeah, that's what I want. There you go, it's just lightened it up a bit, which is exactly what I wanted. So then I'm gonna go over the top with the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss in Fussy. These lip glosses smell insane. They smell like sweets. Oh, they're so good. And I love how big the applicator is. I really want the clear one. I might have to treat myself when I go on holiday and duty free. So I'm gonna... And there you have it. That is the finished look. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a few products you wanted to try. I hope you got a bit of idea of how you would like to do your makeup on a glam night out. But thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.